Okay, hello everyone. So today I'm having a problem with my Windows 10 base computer. The problem is it's telling me that I can't upgrade to Windows 10. As you can see, this PC doesn't currently meet all the system requirements for Windows 11. And you can check uh, what your computer needs for Windows 11 by downloading PC Health Check, which is right here. I downloaded it already. You could download it here. I'll leave the link for this in the video descriptions. I downloaded mine and I'm running it. It says right here, this PC must support secure boot. Okay. So this should already be enabled on most modern computers and UEFI will have to be enabled so I'm going to show you how to do that so every motherboard is different so I'm going to restart and enable UEFI and secure boot so for me this is F2 to get into my BIOS. I have an ASUS BIOS, so um, I'm gonna go to Advanced Options, which is in the bottom right corner. Go to Boot. Go to CM, CSM. CSM is enabled. For Boot Device Control, I put UEFI and Legacy. You could also put UEFI only if you want, or legacy only, but I just put both. Um, network, I don't care, I don't boot from network anyways. Boot from storage devices, UEFI, boot from PCIe or PCI expansion devices. This would be um, M.2 NVMe drives. I'm using an M.2 NVMe drive in this computer to boot into my operating system. So once that's done, go back here, go to secure boot as well. For OS type, I put UEFI mode. Exit, save and exit. I want to boot into Windows. Okay, now I'm going to check um, what my boot thing is if it's GPT or UEFI so I'm gonna check or if it's UEFI or legacy so to do that you go to search and type in MS info 32 press enter here 
you will see that this is legacy right here where my mouse is pointing it's not UEFI if I try to boot into UEFI here you go to recovery restart it's not gonna have firmware so I go here to troubleshoot advanced it's not going to have UEFI firmware because UEFI is not enabled so I'm going to go back continue here Okay. Um, now I want to check my disk partition. So you go to computer management here. Go to storage. Okay. So C drive is the disk that I'm booting from, and that is called disk zero. Partition 3. So on the bottom you see so you see the part the disk number. So I'm gonna go here, make it full screen. So this is this zero, the disk that I'm booting from. And this is the one that I want to convert from MBR to GPT so I can boot into UEFI. So this zero. I have all these other disks. They're all 500, so it's pretty confusing. So you have to know which disk number it is if you have multiple disks, like I do. Now I'm going to check here. Go to properties. Go to volume. And as you can see, partition style is master boot record or MBR. And it should be GPT. Some of the drives here are GPT. No, I don't want to convert. So this disk is GPT. But most of them are just MBR. So um, let's continue. So there's a program here for Windows called uh, MBR 2 GPT. And you could use that to convert your primary hard drive to um, GPT from MBR. So here's a web page that shows you how to do that. Now this is what we want. Okay, so I'm gonna start command prompt CMD. Start it as run ad, run as administrator. And I'm gonna type in MBR to GPT validate space backslash disk. Wait, I'm gonna go to disk part list disk so I'm gonna make this bigger so you can see this properties fonts make it 32 something bigger so you can see better list disk and as you can see those are the disks that you saw in disk management which you saw before disk 0 disk 1, disk 2, disk 3, disk 4. So this is the disk that I'm booting from. That's what I must select. So I'm going to exit again. I'm going to start CMD. OK. 
Okay, so let's type in some com some commands. So uh, I need to type in mbr to gpt space. I think that's forward slash validate. So I would need to select disk at zero. Allow full OS. I don't think it's cap sensitive now. It just says MBR to GPT attempt to validate this zero. Receiving layout of disk, validating layout. Disk sector is 512 bytes. Validation complete successful. Okay, so now I want to convert it. MBR to GPT convert and I have to select disk which is this zero so make sure you select the right disk before you do this and use the validation okay, it's doing it okay it says right here Before the new system could boot properly, you need to switch the firmware boot to UEF, UEFI mode, which I did previously. So I'm going to exit. If you don't do that, then it's not going to boot properly. So that's what it's saying. So I did this beforehand so I could boot into Windows in UEFI mode. Okay, it worked. Get in here, and this time I want to check um, MS info 32. Enter and see if it's UEFI or legacy. So now, as you can see right there, it says BIOS mode is UEFI, not legacy. And let's run PC health check to see if all my requirements are met or not. Okay, so now it says this PC meets Windows 11 requirements. So great news. Windows 11 is free and coming soon. Check device require uh, specifications for apps and features that exceed minimum system requirements in Windows 10 features that aren't available in Windows 11. So I'll leave all the commands that I typed in in the video description below so you can use it. So when you do this, make sure you select the right drive. Because if you don't, um, it's not gonna work. Make sure you go into your BIOS and uh, change the settings to UEFI and also uh, <coughs> make sure you enable secure boots so each uh, motherboard is different so the BIOS for each motherboard is of course different so check your motherboard manual or search on the internet to see what it is so I'm gonna go back to secure update security go back to recovery and then restart and see if uh, UEFI firmware is available so I'm gonna to go to troubleshoot advanced options so now you can see that UEFI firmware settings is here and before it wasn't there so that's it okay thanks for watching